Hi, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your support. If this is the first time, please kindly hit on that red icon to subscribe. Also touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So in our today's class, we shall be looking at how to make um, a one seam high low kaftan a cow kaftan gown okay all right so here i have my three yards of this silk material okay you can use your uh, a crepe you can use sorry a light crepe and you can use your um satin for this okay whichever one you know that will give you the four very well you can use it to do it so i have my three yards of this fabric i'll be teaching you how to cut those starting from the folding part okay all right so here i have my three yards and you know that all this material usually comes by 60 okay so here is the length okay thus now is the length which is the 60 this side all right then this other side is the three yards so i'll be using this three yards together now to cut it which will have only one uh, seam closing at the front Part. Maybe in another video, I will teach you how to use uh, two different material to achieve this tie. Okay, so what I have to do now is to first to fold this by folding into two, which is now having one and a half, okay, one and a half at each of the side. So I'll just fold this into two equal parts to give me one and a half and one and a, one and a half, one and a half, okay? All right. So I'll fold into two this way. Pardon me, I'll be doing the cutting of this dress on the floor because of the space. All right. So just watch attentively. So what I have here straight now, it's um, the three yards folded into two, which is one and a half, one and a half. So at this edge now, we have the length of the 60. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just take this down to the floor now. Okay, I'm just trying to, to see a better position where it will be very clear. But notwithstanding, before I do any cutting, I'll have to reteach it properly, okay? So just calm down and follow my teachings. All right, so now I'll folded it into two, okay? Remember? So here is the part that is uh, close together, all right? So this part now will be serving as the back piece, okay? All right. So this other side is the side. This side now is the one and a half. And the other edge here is the one and a half. Why right? this side and this side is by 60. Okay? All right. So the first thing we have to do now is to determine the down part. I'll be using six at uh, 30 inches for it. So I'm using 30 inches for the down part. So from this, from this edge here, Okay, from this edge here, I will measure 60, 30 inches. Okay, you can decide to use more than that, but I'll be using 30 for it. So here I will mark my 30 inches. Okay, so I haven't marked this now. I will go to the other edge. Okay. And make a straight line to connect it from that point now to this 30 inches okay so from this edge now I will connect this edge to that 30 inches that you made there I have to be very careful you know um, this silk material is usually funny and very hard to guide. That's why I said you should just follow my teachings very well because I don't think the chalk tool will be visible. I haven't made this line from this point now, connect to the 30 inches down here. So I haven't done that. The next thing we have, we have to do now is to look for the midpoint of those 30 inches. And half of 30 is 15 inches. So what we are going to do now is to mark our 15 inches. 
okay we mark our 15 inches this 15 inches now we serve as the midpoint for the um the back and the front okay so this side now from those 15 inches to this 30 inches here will be the front right from this point to this other edge will be the back okay all right so coming to this straight line that we made here we'll now the, um, decide on how we want the the upper part okay how we want the front to be how a um you know it has a kind of a curve we said it's a high and low okay so we are going to know the determine how you want it to be it's either by 15 or by 14 or by 16 depending on how high you want it to be so i'll be using 15 inches for this so what i have to do now is to mark my 15 inches here Okay, so have not done this now, if you have your French curve, you can feel free to use it to connect, okay? I'm going to be connecting from those 15 inches now to those 15 inches that we made at this upper part. So I'm going to be connecting this like so. I'm so sorry if you're not seeing my chalk very well, okay? okay this. All right. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to mark our back neckline, okay? I'll be using one inch by three inches. Okay, so come in here now. Now mark three inches. And come in at the depth. Now we use one inch. okay so for the front i won't be cutting out the front now till i cut out all this i will tell you the reason why i said so okay so we'll be marking out the front piece now okay so let's um go it one more time before i cut all right so this side is the by 60 this side is also by 60 then this side and this side is the one and a half one and a half inch one and a half for the front and one and a half for the back, giving us a total of three inches. Just foot by two and use the length of the fabric for your length. Okay. This side now serves at the back part, which is the one that is joined together that there's no opening or cut to that side. All right. So the next thing to do is for you to take the the down uh, opening. Okay. So from this edge of this uh, back, measure your 30 inches okay so when you measure your 30 inches well not 30 inches that you measured take a straight line to the end of this piece okay to the end of it make a straight line to connect to that 30. then coming back to that 30 take the half of the 30 which is 15 inches then you mark your 15 inches which is this point then at this line now that you went up straight determine how high you want the front to be 
So here I use 15 inches. So from this point, now measure your 15 inches, and then curve it to this 15 inches at the midpoint. Okay. Go up there and take your width and your depth measurement of the back. I use three by one inch. Hope it's clear enough. Okay, so I'll go ahead now and do my cuttings. Okay. So here I start from those points. So I'll just go ahead and remove the neck. All right. So this is what we have after cutting it out. Now, okay. All right. So I will just go ahead now and uh, go to the machine. Uh, first of all, I'll sew up from this point now to this point okay i'll just sew the straight then i'll come back and show you how we'll be removing the front neckline and also um the the sleeve okay where the hand will be coming out from okay so i've stitched up this part all right, so the next thing to do now is to open this up and join it together so we can get the back and the front. So what I have to do now is to open up here. Yeah? Sorry, I want to notch out the, the center of the back so that it can guide me properly. Just want to notch out the so I have to hold this shape well. I can notch out the center. Part. Now make sure that this notched part joins with this line, okay? Just making sure that everything is equal. Okay, um, I need to bring this closer so you will understand what I want to explain here. So when you look at this part very well, you will see that we have an excess. This is the back, okay, and this is the front. So this is the reason why I said we won't be cutting out the front neckline, okay, because had it been we cut it out, we will still have this excess part. So what I'll have to do now is to go ahead now and cut this. Okay, so that it will be equal with the back, then take this out before we now take the front neckline. All right. I've made this to be equal now. So I just wish to open up the where the sleeve will be uh, our sleeve hand will be coming out okay before i take the neckline of the front so it to save me the stress of uh making this to be equal again 
So what I have to do is to mark the sleeve that I want. You can use 7 inches, you can use 8 inches. But for this, I'll be using 8 inches. So from here now, I will mark my 8 inches. You can equally go ahead to notch it. I'll also do the same thing on this other side. So from this point now, I will mark 8 inches. I will also mark the same 8 inches here. And I'll go ahead to notch it also. that I not which is the eight inches what I have to do is to stitch this off from those three inches now then I'll stop at this eight inches okay then the hand the sleeve will be coming out from this part okay the same thing to this other side from those three inches now I will stitch to that eight inches okay so we can go ahead now to create our neckline for the front I have to join this like this So here, I will use, I'll be using a, the neck depth of 8 inches. I use neck depth of 8 inches. Then I will use neck width of 3 inches. The same as the back. Okay. 3 inches. So I'll go ahead now and connect those in a straight line. I'm going to be connecting this to create my v-neck So here I have my front and back neckline. So I'll just go to the machine now and do the joining of the shoulder. Then we'll come back and show you the rest of it. Okay, so as you can see, I've joined the both shoulders. So what is remaining now is for us to um, hem the neckline so you can just cut a facing or you can weave it and fold it once whichever one you decide you can also decide to just dip the neckline anyhow you want it it's perfect you can also cut a facing to turn it at the front piece it's all depend on what you want but for this i'll be cutting a facing for it then i'll also go ahead i'll weave off the sleeve okay then i'll be folding it once the same thing i will do to the down part also i will just weave it then fold it once okay so i can just try it on so that you will see the fittings okay okay so this is the neckline so like i said just tape it and that will be fine then look at the sleeve you can see the shape it gives you see that's the shape Okay, right. So this is it. So when you take your hand down to create the cow, okay. So you can see this falls out very well. All right. Okay. I don't know if you can see the down part. Okay. So this is the front. Okay. 
I just want you to try yours. Feel free to ask me any question on where you don't understand at the comment section. And if you want us to do any of the tutorials, please kindly follow me on my page on Facebook at Solum Fashion World. Okay, so there you can send me a private message on the styles you want. You can send the styles there and I will reply you ASAP. Okay, so thank you so much for watching till the end. See you will meet in my next class. All right. Love you all. Bye.